Yo, what's up everybody? As you can see, this is an exciting game because of the fact that it's my first game with the Knickerbockers, the New York Knicks. So first thing I really wanted to do was check out my minutes, see how back I am from becoming a starter. So as you can see, I'm only 9 minutes away and then I'll become the starter. And once Raymond, Fel Raymond uh, Felton starts doing bad, you know, his minutes will go down and if I start doing good, my minutes will go up. So... It's not too bad right now. I could easily become a starter in just like less than 10 games or fewer, uh, few games more than 10 games. Uh, so as you can see, um, I'm going to change a couple of things in my appearance. I always like doing that. And um, I I gave the guy the hyper dunks. I don't know if I said this in my previous video, but now I'm going to cu actually customize it into the colors that I want. And I really like the away version of this, the Hyper Dunks, because as you can see, it's like a silvery, white, I don't know, it looks pretty sick. So I love these shoes. Uh, I decided to give him these shoes, they look pretty sick. So next thing that I'm going to do is pretty much play around with his stats. I have a lot, how many skill points? 4,177 skill points. Um, Let's see, what am I thinking here? So I'm going to... I decided to increase his on-ball defense, and I'm really thinking about, you know, as you can see, his speed is, is, is not bad, but it's really okay, but, you know, it could be worked on, but it's not really a necessity right now. So I really decided to go ahead and change his defensive awareness, because like I told you guys, when you change the awareness, you guys overall is going to go up. Now that we are done with changing his appearance, changing his skill points, and playing a couple of drills, it is time to actually go on and play my first game as a New York Knick. Mr. Perfect as he made his arrival, showing up earlier this afternoon. Live here on Tuesday night, this is 2K Sports bringing you the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Doris Burke alongside. And a one-game homestand for Denver as the Nuggets will try to recharge their batteries on their home court. They're coming into this one with a victory just last night. You know, they definitely maintain their focus and their poise. They put on a real entertaining comeback. And that's always a feel-good game when you can win it like that. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Stoudemire out there with Kerr. Then it's Wilson Chandler. Then there's Felton. And for the Nuggets... Kmart and Nene are inside. Phillips and Aflalo are the backcourt. And Anthony. Clark, this nut. Here we go. I finally check in with seven minutes left. And I think in this video, I actually did make the clock ten minutes. It might be ten. It might be twelve. I don't know why, but I'm never sure of what, of what time I set the clock to. But it's either ten minutes or twelve minutes. Something that I found was that, you know, it feels like... The footages are really long, you know, if the footages are up to an hour. So pretty much the whole exporting and importing process takes really long. So I'm thinking about shorten it, shorting, shortening the time once I become a starter. But I'm not a starter yet. So we'll see what happens in the future. You know, I really want to talk about more of the All-Star Weekend in this video. As you guys know, it starts today, actually. So I might not be doing a lot of in-game commentary about my player. Because I really want to talk about what's going to go on tonight and what's going to go on the rest of the week. But, you know, some things that I want to tell you guys ahead of time uh, about this game footage. Like, once you, you know, once you guys see it, you guys will probably be clueless of what's going on. But, you know, in this game, I did injure Chauncey Billup. So, if you ever see that, you know, leave a comment. You know, it was pretty funny. Uh, so, it's not really funny because the guy got hurt. But, you know, he was kind of um, owning me in the beginning. Because, you know, Chauncey Billups is a great point guard. But then all of a sudden, he took a shot and I jumped on him. And all of, a, all of a sudden, this guy goes down and he gets hurt. Like I said, it's not funny. But anyway, uh, um, that's pretty much the only weird thing that you get to see in this game. Um, other than that, I had a good good performance. My team came up short. But why don't I just get into the All-Star Weekend, you know. All-Star Weekend is one of my favorite times. You know, I enjoy it. I look forward to it. Because, you know, in the NBA season, there isn't much of interesting things going on. There isn't a lot of things going on in the All-Star Weekend. So, 
This is like the halfway point of the NBA and, you know, a lot of funny things. And, you know, to be more specific, the All-Star Celebrity Game is at 7 on ESPN and the Rookie Challenge is at 9 on TNT. So now let's get into the Saturday events, which is my favorite day. You know, I got people coming over to my house um, and we're hosting a Saturday All-Star Weekend thing. And, you know, Saturday, in my opinion, is the best day out of all the days during the All-Star Weekend. And it starts out with the higher shooting stars. And this is pretty much like, there's like a, each team has a legend on their team, a WNBA player, you know. And the teams that are going to be in there is Team Atlanta. They have Al Horford, Coco Miller, which is a WNBA All-Star, which is, who, she's a WNBA player. And they also have Steve Smith, who's a legend. Team Chicago has Taj Gibson, um, who plays for the Bulls. Catherine Cravey, Cravold, who's on WNBA team, Chicago Sky. And they have Steve Kerr, who's obviously a legend as well. And then they have Team LA, Los Angeles. They got Paul Gasol, Tina Thompson, and Rick Fox. They also have Team Texas. They have Dirk Nowitzki, Ronika Hodge, Hodges, Hodges. Ooh, I can't talk at all right now. And they also have Kenny Smith. Um, and last year, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Team Texas won. So... You know, they might do it again. They got a good shooter on their team compared to all the other guys, Dirk Nowitzki. So, in my opinion, I think Team Texas is going to get it done once again. Now, <clears throat> the next the next, the next, next event going on Saturday is the Taco Bell Skills Challenge. And, you know, we obviously know it's when they throw a ball. In, um, it's like an obstacle course. You know, they throw a ball on the wheel. They go around. It's, it tests their uh, passing skills. You know, all that. So, um, they're dribbling skills with the ball. So, it should be pretty exciting. In this event, there's going to be Chris Paul, St St Stephen Curry, Stephon Curry, whatever you want to call him. Um, there's Derrick Rose, John Wall, Russell Westbrook. And, you know, I do think Derrick Rose might win this. Because this guy is like, I don't know. You can't go against Derrick Rose. But, in my opinion, I have John Wall winning for numerous reasons. And it's because, you know... He's a Washington Wizards, you know. He plays on the Washington Wizards, so I have to go with him. So, in the skills challenge, I'm going with John Wall. And make sure, you know, as I'm going through these events, make sure you tell me who you think is going to win the event so we can pretty much compare ideas. You know, I know I know, some of these you guys are going to think I sound really ridiculous, but, you know, I want to hear your opinion. Now we are in the three-point contest, and this year it should be an interesting one. We got Ray Allen from Boston. We got Kevin Durant, Oklahoma City, Daniel Gibson, James Jones from Miami, Paul Pierce, and Daryl Wright. Now, I would want to say Kevin Durant's going to win it, but looking at Ray Allen and how he's doing this year with his performance, I got Ray Allen winning the three-point contest. You tell me what you think in the comment section because I really want to know. Okay, now my favorite event of all. The last event of the day. Ooh, I cannot wait for this. The dunk contest. 2011 dunk contest. You got DeMar DeRozan playing for Toronto. You got Blake Griffin for the LA Clippers. Serge Ibaka for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And you got JaVale McGee from the Washington Wizards. And, you know, three out of the four players are set either centers or power forwards. Now, let's get into this. You know... I think Blake Griffin is going to throw it down, and that's why I have him winning. But, you know, obviously I would want to see JaVale McGee, you know, winning this dunk contest because he's a Washington Wizard. You know, some of you might be like, JaVale McGee. But if you if you actually lived in Washington, if you actually watched the Wizards game, this guy has some amazing dunks. You know, you don't get to really see him on Sports Center and all that. You don't really get to see him on national TV. But when you actually watch the Wizards game, this guy's amazing. You know, I would want to admit, have him winning, but Blake Griffin is too nice at dunking. That's why I think he's going to win. But I definitely want to see JaVale McGee win as well. So one more event left, and that is pretty much the all-star game. Um, let's go ahead and talk about who's on the team, the starters, actually. Um, so we're going to talk about the Western All-Star team first. 
Actually, let's talk about the Eastern first. So, actually, we can talk about both, but we'll start with Eastern first. So, Eastern All-Star team has LeBron James, Amari Stoudemire, Dwayne Wade, Derrick Rose, and Dwight Howard. And these guys are obviously the starters. Now, on the bench, they got Ray Allen, Chris Bosh, Kevin Garnett, Al Horford, Joe Johnson, Paul Pierce, and Ray John Rondo. And if you pretty much look at it, I mean, most of the players are either from Boston, Miami, or Atlanta. And that's pretty crazy in my opinion. But obviously, the coach is Doc Rivers from Boston, and he got to choose pretty much those four guys on Boston's bench. He got to choose Paul Pierce, Ray John, Kevin Garnett, and Ray Allen. But I think, yeah. So, now let's get into the Western Conference team. And starting off with the five starters for these guys, it's Tim Duncan, Kevin Durant, Carmelo Anthony, Kobe Bryant, and Chris Paul. Those guys are going to be the starters. On the bench, it says here is Yao Ming, but obviously he's not in it. You got Monty Ginobili, Paul Gasol, Blake Griffin making it as a rookie. Kevin Love, who is probably getting rebounds right now. Not even on the court. That was supposed to be a little joke. You got Dirk Nowitzki, Russell Westbrook, and Darren Williams. This is pretty tough because both teams have great players. But in my opinion, the Eastern Conference All-Stars are going to win this event. So that pretty much wraps up the All-Star Weekend. You know, make sure you comment and tell me who you think is going to win each event. You know. In the comment section, write three-point contest, and I put a dash, and I write the players' names. I really want to know who you guys think. You know, maybe I sounded ridiculous for a couple of them. So maybe I want to know what, you, what the rest of my YouTubers think on who's going to win what event. So that's pretty much it. I'm excited for, you know, I'm excited for all these events, but most of all, I'm really excited about Saturday, the dunk contest. So that pretty much wraps it up, you know, and here we are in this footage right now. As you can see, there's about 14 seconds left in the third quarter, and I'm at the free throw line right now. I have 19 points, 6 rebounds, and 10 assists. You know, I got a double-double. I tried getting a triple-double, but the reboundings didn't actually work. And, you know, going into the third quarter, we we're doing pretty good, actually. And um, as you can see, I find Roger Mason. For the three pointer before the before the third quarter actually ends. Now we're down by two. And you know, I played pretty good. Got eleven assists. Not bad at all. My first game as a New York Nick. Now we're making a transition into the fourth quarter. Let's watch some of the sprite plays. And as you can see, Carmelo Anthony pretty much is having a big game against us right now. He's doing really good. He can't miss a shot. I don't know how 2K rated him in this game. Guy can't miss a shot at all. Now, I'm going to be on the bench starting the third quarter. As you can see, Chauncey Bills is coming back. It's a good thing. And as you can see, I didn't go back in at all. So, we lose the game by five points. I'm really disappointed because I believe if they kept me in, you know, we could have actually done something. So, we pretty much lose the game. 104 to 99. My guy's already leaving the stadium in disappointment. And the Nuggets fans are fist pumping once again into our faces. So, as you can see, I mean, I completed all the objectives. Uh... I got a performance, great performance, 2,996 skill points. And you pretty much can't ask for a better performance than this. You probably could ask for something better than that, but, I mean, you can't complain about a performance like this. Having just played your first game with this team, how does it feel playing with this group of guys? Oh, it felt great. I, I just need to settle in and find my role within this team. Uh, this team has some guys who know how to win, you know? I, I look forward to getting to know them better and putting some W's on the board. So, yeah, guys, that was pretty much it. And as you can see, I unlocked the Mellows when I played Carmelo. That's pretty funny. But, yeah, that was the first game as a Knicks. More videos of this guy is coming pretty soon, so stay tuned.